Hey everybody, welcome to another ramble uh, for the Peeps and Poops YouTube channel. Um, and I just thought of another thing that I wanted to um, talk about with you guys is introducing a cat to your dog or dogs. Maybe it's cat or cats, maybe it's dog or dogs, but when you're bringing cats or dogs into the uh, one environment where they're going to cohabitate, um, there's a trick that you do. It's called scent swapping. And uh, the phone's running out of batteries, but anyways. Um, it's called scent swapping. And what I do is I have this like um, flannel shirt that I wear, and I'll be hanging with the cats, holding them. I get the cat smell all over me. I mean, I can't smell the cats. The cats smell very, just, I can't even smell a scent on them. They're so clean. But there's something, you know, cat smells, cat scent. Then you go play with the dogs and you get the dog smell all over. The dogs are smelling you. You know, and you're giving the dogs attention and you're feeding them and training them and walking them and giving them love. And then you're doing the same thing with the cat. You're feeding them and the cat's all over you. So what happens is, you know, like we were talking about before, like don't feed the dogs people food. The dog's sense of smell is 500 times stronger than a, a person's sense of smell. So they are all about, you'll see like a dog with its head out the window, their eyes are like closed and they're just smelling the world around them. They're all about um, scent. So you get the scent all over you with this, right? You can do, the, you can do a blanket, you can do a towel. Um, I do the flannel shirt because then the dogs are like, they're smelling me all the time and then the cat's all over me and then what happens is you kind of go back and forth between the dogs and the cat and so the scent of the two is established so the dog smells the cat all over me and the dog's totally comfortable with it and then the cat is smelling the dog all over me and then you put like a little gate and you bring the cat into the house this is what we did and the cat gets its cat box its cat food in a room back there the cat needs a couple things to get up on so that the cat can be up looking down at the dog until it's comfortable. But we brought the cat in and the dog and the cat just looked at each other like, oh, there you are. That's that smell that I've been smelling. That's that scent that's all over the trainer. Um, and then, so the dog's going, okay, well, I smell that I got the scent and there's the critter that smells like that. And it was absolutely no big deal bringing the cat into the environment with the dogs. Absolutely no big deal. They all just like, oh, there you are. I've been smelling you for a while. So um, it's called scent swapping. And that's the way to go when you're bringing a cat into the environment with the dog or vice versa. Um, do this and it's gonna make things way smoother. <clears throat> and then you get one of those like baby gates, pet gates and you give the cat a room where it's got its cat box, you feed it back there, and then the cat can come out and look at the dogs through the gate, jump over the gate, go and get up on something where the dogs are, and eventually they're all hanging out and playing, and they just, you know, they, they get along great, you know? So anyways, that's scent swapping, and that's for bringing cats and dogs together in one environment. You, you do the scent swap before you actually physically put them together. So that was another one I wanted to tap on. Okay, guys, well, um, like and subscribe, and uh, there's a Patreon in the banner, and God bless you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to get back to driving. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time.